Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Uh, kamusta po ang lahat? Uh, naway ang lahat ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Ating mga kapatid. Uh, nakakatuwa po na tayo po ay nandito na naman upang sa gawain natin ng prayer meeting and dadako na po tayo sa ating short exhortation. Uh, samahan niyo po ako manalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa gabing ito na muli na naman kami magkakasama-sama ng aming mga kapatid uh, sa gawain na ito na kayo ay pasalamatan at papurihan and itaas po sa inyong aming mga prayers na para sa nagdaan linggo at sa paparating ng linggo, Panginoon. Lord, uh, ako po ay lumalapit sa inyo na humihingi ng kapatawaran sa aming mga kasalanan, Panginoon. Uh, balutin, niyo po kami, balutin niyo po kami ng banal na espiritu and ihanda ang aming mga sarili sa pakikinig ng mensahe na binigay mo sa iyong lingkod. Uh, naway gamitin mo po ko na naayon sa iyong kagustuhan and para bigyan po kayo ng kapurihan sa inyong nga lang, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So, ayun. <coughs> um, dadako na po tayo sa ating short exhortation. So, um, ang, <coughs> ang ating pong topic ay prayer. So, um, So, tingin ko na po ang lahat sa atin ay nagpe-pray. Tama ho ba? So, uh, prayer is the most, for the most part, an, uh, a familiar territory for us. Right? So, uh, lagi natin ito pinag-uusapan, pero hindi natin siya madalas napapractice. Agree po ba ang lahat? So, ako po, aminado po ako sa aking sarili na... Uh, yes, I am already a Christian, but I'm not um, practicing that much yung prayer. Um, for a believer, it is one of the greatest gift our Lord has given us outside of salvation. Um, yet, instead of it being something we do every day, like breathing, eating, walking, and talking, Uh, it seems to have come become like an emergency tool for us. Um, it is true na yes, when uh, pag dumadanas tayo ng mga um, paghihirap, crisis, um, yes, we do pray. But how about the the days na nakaranas tayo ng kasiyahan, ng, ng magandang mga magagandang araw natin we seem to be um, um, complacent in prayer when it comes sa mga ganong araw so prayer is the pipeline of communication between God and His people between God and those who love Him I think that everyone can say na who walks with the Lord wants to know how to better communicate with Him parang sa mag-asawa Siyempre, nung um, mag-jowa pa lang kayo o mag-boyfriend and girlfriend, kung gusto mo yung tao, um, you're making an effort to know him or her better. So, paano natin magagawa yun is by communicating to one another. So, um, i- as Christians, we, we, want, uh, we want to know better our Lord. So, Uh, that's how we pray. So that's the prayer comes. In fact, I have found no Christian na maturing in faith who does not want a better prayer life to improve the communication. So our text for tonight came from um, Colossians 4, chapter 4, verse 2 to 6. All right. So sabay-sabay po natin basahin. So, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And prayer for us too may open our door for a message so that we may proclaim the mystery for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Be wise in the way you act and outsiders, making the most of every opportunity. 
Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you know how to answer to anyone. Okay, so, um, ang Colossians po ay written by Paul. So, um, 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 let's let's pray with persistence. All right. So Paul's Paul begin begins by saying, "Devote yourself to prayer." All right. Being watchful and thankful. So don don't nagsimula yung yung passage natin. So devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. All right. So devote means giving all or a large part of one's time or resources to. So kapag devoted ka dun sa ginagawa mo, uh, binibigay mo lahat yung para dito, lahat ng kaya mo, lahat ng oras mo para maging uh, para maisagawa mo yung bagay na yun. So it carries with it an idea of dedication. So in Luke 18 uh, verse 1 it says now he was telling them a parable to show them that all times they ought to pray and not to lose heart so sometimes when we pray we feel that God wasn't answering our prayers so dun tayo nagigib up all right so but as Christians the Lord says do not lose hope so persistent means not giving up all right so and then let's pray with passion all right if you're persistent in something it stands to reason that you're passionate about it all right uh, let's say an athlete is um persistent dun sa kanyang ginagawa uh, sabihin natin basketball player so pagka yung athlete na basketball player ay persistent dun sa pagte-training niya so he's not giving up and he's doing it with passion kasi uh, hindi mo gagawa yung isang bagay na hindi ka magigive up kung hindi mo gusto yung bagay na yon so in in fact Paul says we should be vigilant and be watchful so bakit all right so vigilant and be watchful in our prayer life is something that uh, that we need to do Alright? Because, um, kapag passionate ka do sa isang bagay na ginagawa mo, ayaw mo na masira ito. ba? So, but our, yung kalaban natin, ba? Si, si Taning, ay, um, kapag alam niya na na tayo ay magpipray, nagkakaroon siya ng mga scheme upang pigilan tayo. But Paul says, that's why Paul says na, when we devote ourselves to prayer, we should be watchful and vigilant. Or vigilant, alright? So Jesus was passionate about his prayer life and it was something he always doing. In Luke 3, verse 21, at his baptism, while he was praying, the heaven was open. Passionate prayer opens heaven. Alright? Makikita natin to dun sa uh, Luke chapter 3 verse 21 uh, basahin natin when all the people were being baptized Jesus was baptized too and as he, as he was praying heaven was open all right and the holy spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove and a voice came from heaven you are my son whom I, whom I love with you I am well pleased all right so tayo ba Tayo as Christians, we are already uh, inherited to be uh, um, a son and daughter of our Lord, alright? But uh, we are we pleasing Him? So, diba? In prayer, this will be uh, uh, a step to please our Lord, alright? In Luke 6, chapter 6, verse 12, before he called his disciples, he spent the whole night in prayer. So, passionate prayer gives uh, directions. 
So, right? So, makikita natin to in, in Luke chapter 6, verse 12. So, one of those days, Jesus went out to mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Alright, so Jesus prayed the night before he chooses the disciples or apostles. So a passionate prayer gives directions. So when we pray uh, persistently and passionately, it gives us a direction in our lives. So do you agree ba mga kapatid? So Jesus always pray with passion and he knew who it was, who it was he was talking to. And he knew that prayer to the Father is a powerful thing and not something to take lightly. So, um, uh, we know na uh, kapag kinakausap natin yung tao, uh, nakilala natin na importante sa atin, hindi tayo, nag, hindi tayo, <clears throat> hindi tayo kumakausap ng hindi seryoso. Laging seryoso yung binib binibigas natin sa kanila. So, knowing God <coughs> and kung ano yung kaya niyang gawin sa atin and kaya, kung ano yung kaya niyang gawin sa buhay natin and sa mga bagay na ipagbe-pray natin. So, uh, it's a powerful thing and something na hindi dapat nating i-take lightly or palagpasin. Alright? So, a prayer from the heart, that's what a passionate prayer is. It is a prayer from the heart, not just head. Minsan kasi may may times na uh, yung yung napipilitan ka lang mag-pray, di ba? Alam mo yun. But a prayer from the heart is different from a prayer from the head. So ma makikita natin to in James chapter 5 verse 16 that the effective and fervent prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. All right? So, let's pray with thankfulness. So, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, tell us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything we should pray, giving thanks as, giving take, thanks as we make our petition known to God. <coughs> so, what gratitude, um, ano ba ginagawa ng gratitude in us, diba, as a Christian? A prayer with gratitude express our dependency with our Lord. So kapag um, laking pasasalamat mo do sa mga bagay na meron ka, uh, it, 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 it equals with our dependence on our Lord. Kasi um, unang-una hindi, hindi mo naman ipagpapasalamat yung bagay na yan kung hindi ka talaga, um, hindi ka dependent kay Lord. Alright? And it also demonstrates our relationship with our Lord. Diba? As, as we mentioned earlier, uh, prayer is a pipeline, communication between us and God. And it also generates humility. Um, as we mentioned, knowing, knowing God and what He can do in our lives. So, when we come into prayer, uh, um, we humble ourselves uh, upon His presence. Diba? So, um, there's a lot of things that happen when we pray. Alright? So, prayer forces us to wait and depends on our Lord. So, um, prayer opens our eyes of faith because it enables us to get in touch with what God is doing and how He's doing it. Diba kapag... Uh, kapag Nagpe-pray tayo, minsan may mga pinagpe-pray tayo mga bagay na uh, Lord, tulungan niyo po ako dito sa exam ko na ito. <coughs> um, naway makapasa ako sa exam na ito. And and yes, you will because uh, you have already prayed for it, okay? Mag mag-aaral ka, magbabasa ka, mag talagang pag-iigihan mo and um Although mahirap yung exam mo, but your eyes of faith was already open that you're trusting God and depending on Him para dun sa exam na ngayon. And after pong pumasa, so you will be thankful about it. Alright? 
So prayer aligns our heart with God's heart. So when we come to prayer, we submit all our petitions to God and asking it the kung kung kakalo kakalo obin ni Lord na mangyari yon, di ba? So from that um, line of prayer, we're we're uh, we're submitting our emotions, our heart to be aligned with uh, with God. <clears throat> so uh, prayer also engage uh, enable us to move forward because prayer engages God and enable God's people and and His kingdom. Because just like Jesus said, without Him we can do anything. Diba? Tama naman po because um, all of the things that here on our earth and on earth na nangyayari and all the good things na meron tayo is because of our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. So in conclusion, uh, let's make our prayer our prime goal every day. Like I will pray regularly, let's say to ourselves that Let's say to ourselves, I will pray regularly, I will pray regularly, I will pray regularly. Make it a goal, an object of your mind, and will to do it. Huwag natin siyang na, ah, sige, mag-pray na ako everyday. Ano eh, ah, walang commitment, wala siyang, wala siyang, wala siyang, wala siyang bigat yung sinasabi natin. Let's say, I will pray regularly because I want to know God more. Sabihin natin, I will pray regularly because I want to know God more. Alright? So make your appointment with God more than important than anything else. Even an appointment with with a doctor, uh, with a school, your parents, your friends, your husband, or a job interview. Ilagay natin sa ating isipan na importanteng makapag-pray tayo every day all right because think of it na pag hindi ka nakapag-pray lumalayo yung lumalayo yung yung sarili nila nilalayo mo yung sarili mo kay Lord all right think of think of it that way um because um um uh, this this um this exhortation was uh, Reminded me by the Lord. When, uh, nung na-remind ako na mag-pray regularly. And I I testify that I feel that I am close to God for a few days. Alright? For a few days now, na feel ko na I'm already close. May, may nagbago. Yun yung gusto kong sabihin. May nagbago. Alright? So reject everyone every interruption that's in your human power to reject. So, i- i-reject nyo lahat yung bagay na alam nyo makaka- makaka-istorbo sa inyo habang nagpipray kayo. Like, phone ba yan? Uh, laptop? Uh, uh, um, set apart yourself kapag magpipray. Like, uh, go to a quiet place. Like, yung ano. Para hindi lang kayo may istorbo. Because, a prayer is an intimate moment between you as a Christian and to God. Alright? So, doon na po nagtatapos yung um, exhortation ko. I hope there uh, may natutunan po kayo sa bagay na ito because I'm, I'm really happy to share these things to you mga kapatid. And all glory to God. Ayun lang po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you.